All, all right, that should be going. So, so what you're here, and welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria Simulator. I saw that Markiplier had updated had updated his channel and put that this game was actually a thing out, and I immediately went to Steam, and it's like, okay, can I put this on a wish list and like purchase it later? Only to find out, it's free. Free is 100% in my price range. So I'm jumping on the hype train while I can. I've played almost all of the other Five Nights at Freddy's games. I actually really love the series. I think it's pretty creative. And as a 3D modeler, I love the character designs. So let's jump right into this. I'm pretty excited to start. Here we go, press enter. Design a pizza. All right. Shit. Right. I'm hoping that this isn't actually like a massive horror game. I saw the trailer and it seemed pretty darn. Oh, I used my nose. Okay. Pretty darn cute. Okay, so I don't know about you, but I love pepperoni, onions, mushrooms, and peppers. I'm not a big fan of olives and I'm not a big fan of sausage. I also can't place these anywhere, which is a bit of a shame. Press enter when finished. Enter. Alright! I've made a pizza. I've made a really good pizza. It kind of pisses me off that there's no, like, pineapple option, because pineapples totally deserve to go on pizzas. Go to pizzeria. Okay, so this is like a... Do I use... W-A-S-D? Okay. I have to use shift. I'm not used to using W-A-S-D! Okay. This is cute. Alright, this is a little flash game! I was kind of expecting more information about the movie to come out, because we're a little overdue for that from Scott Coffin. But you know what? A little trolly, adorable game that's not sit and starve, that's totally cool with me. Yay! Oh, this is cute. What the shit? Um. Oh, I can freeze it. Okay. Alright, I got most of them. What the hell, Fredbear? Um, I think that's Fredbear, or is that Shadow Freddy? What in the world? Okay, I didn't expect this. I seem to be able to... Okay, I fed you. There we go! I won! Yay! What the shit! Hey! 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 I can't attack! I got the 300 points and you won't let... Okay. A troll. This is clearly a trolling game. Clear troll. Okay, my mouse is back. What the shit? That's like the most effed up version of Circus Funtime Baby I've ever seen in my life. Look at the eyes. Wow, Scott, you really upped your 3D modeling. This is. Oh, shit, that scared me. Okay, there's a little hidden button down here. Tape recorder. Employees only, paragraph four, prompt one results, prompt What? What if I just press no on all these? There. Okay, cool. That's really weird. I don't know why I chose no. Should I just go yes? Yes, yeah, fun. I can't unclick. I'll just click everything. Fuck it. can't rewind or stop. I guess all I can do is play. Begin tape. Leaving dead space. Three, two, one. Okay. The purpose of this tape is to test automated response times and reactions from vintage interactive attractions following audio stimuli. Vintage. If you are hold playing it. this tape, that hold means it. that- Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Vintage. Okay. To anyone who hasn't followed the Five Nights at Freddy's lore, which is very conf confusing and convoluted and everything else, the last game in the series, before this game, was Five Nights at Freddy's Sister Location. And Circus Baby was one of the newer models, so if this is vintage, then this is happening after that time. Ooh, 
that not only have you been checking outside at the end of every shift, as you were instructed to do, but also that you have found something that meets the criteria of your special obligations under paragraph 4. Follow these nice. instructions, document response times, then safely secure the space before leaving. Upon sealing the room, you are not to return. Are you shitting Begin me? Begin audio prompt in 3, 2, 1. What kind of an audio prompt is that? Oh, wow. Okay, that's painful in the ears. Document results. Begin audio prompt in 3, 2, Oh, I already one. documented all results. Shit. <laughs> Document results. audio and like stuffed it through some kind of filter. Begin audio prompt in three. See if maybe something new two, comes up. One. This is like the weirdest freaking audio prompt I've ever heard in my life. I was really hoping this wasn't gonna be like a full on horror game because I actually really suck at these games. I was never able to beat Sister Location because I kept getting my ass kicked Document by the results. Funtime Freddy section. Begin audio prompt in three. What? Two. <gasps> one. Oh shit! <gasps> you moved! You moved! Okay! You were pretending! It's a new day. It's your time to shine. It's time to take your career into your own hands. Man, You've saved money your whole life. Great! Now it's time to put all your eggs into one basket and take That's a huge gamble on your future. Totally not a gamble that comes with a 100% chance of success in some cases. That's bullshit. What are we talking about? We're talking about becoming a Fazbear Entertainment franchisee. That's right, restaurant ownership and management. Something almost anyone can do with a limited degree of success. Limited? Sure, it's a lot of money to invest, but uh, everyone's yeah. doing it. And that means it's safe and lucrative. With your initial investment, you'll receive everything you need to get started, including a small room, some tables, and electricity. But don't forget about the money you had left over after buying your franchise package. Use it to decorate, buy a stage, buy attractions and animatronics, and much, much more. Now, let's take a look at a few things okay, that will help you get started as a Fazbear Entertainment franchisee, such as Atmosphere. Making sure your establishment has an inviting atmosphere is essential to bringing in new customers. Entertainment. Having a lot of entertainment value in your restaurant will ensure that customers come back. Okay, Bonus revenue. Coin-operated games and attractions can generate additional revenue during the day, which means more money in your pocket, ready for reinvestment. Health and safety. There may be times when you purchase something of questionable quality, and we don't blame you. Cutting corners is just good business. Oh, no, but not. there are steps you can take to ensure you don't get sued for it. And that brings us to liability. Being a thrifty shopper is smart, is, but be aware that buying things on sale comes with a certain amount of risk. Aside from the daily risk of lawsuits, there's also the risk that something might be hiding inside whatever you just purchased with that steeply discounted price tag. Excuse you? Of course, that would only be a serious danger if there were something outside that's been trying to get in for months now, oh, which yeah, we are sure. not confirming to be the case. This concludes the amount of help we are legally obligated to provide. Remember, you are now the face of the newly rebranded Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Wear that smile with pride and let's make some money. Fazbear Entertainment is not responsible for disappearance, death, or dismemberment. Okay, if I watched, if I had watched, okay, hold it, I'll hold it, hold it, hold it. If I had watched that commercial before buying my life away, I would have had to either be highly intoxicated, out of my mind, or on borderline death. I'm none of those things right now, so that's absolutely crazy. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna have to go over that later. Like, I'm gonna have to theorize about that later, that's nuts. How to. A two-step guide to restaurant management. Catalog mode, purchase items, animatronics, other supplies, blueprint mold to place items, upgrade items, and upgrade your floor plan. I'm ready. Okay, let's do this. Sure. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Uh, this is